Timu, it's the new Wish, except... It, it's the same thing. Yeah, that's right. It's the same thing as Wish. <laughs> uh, I don't see Wish around anymore. Everyone's ordering Timu. I think their advertising strategy is better. Timu is just like everywhere all over Facebook, Instagram. Hey, check out these products. Yeah, I keep seeing products for like a dollar, I don't know, 50 cents. Cheap <laughs> Chinese crap. And we bought some of this cheap Chinese crap. Some of this crap that we got here today is for the house. Well, actually, all of it's for the house. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Yeah. All right, we'll start one thing at a time, okay, Enzo? Yeah. All right. It's How some, about we start with this one right here? The house. We'll start with one thing, okay? What is this? What is this? Oh, what is it? What is it? It's a microwave cleaner. It looks like an angry wife, woman, mother, oh. someone. It's someone is angry. Someone. <laughs> because they have to clean. <laughs> Let's show the people, Enzo. She's bad. She's not bad. She's mad. She's mad because she has to clean. So a trick to cleaning your microwave oven is that you put a bowl of water, you steam it for a little while, and then the steam, we've done this before, it yeah. actually, it works. And it actually just wipes up instead of you having to scrub it. She so, has red hair? She has red hair, red that's hair, right. Yeah. I, I got the one with the red hair, there's ones with different kinds of hair colors and different shirt colors. I got the one with the red hair and the blue shirt. This is just a reminder, hey, just to clean your microwave every once in a while rather than just using a bowl each time. So let's go inside, try it out, and see if it's worth the maybe a dollar or two that we paid for this. Our microwave isn't the worst, but there's some sauce up there. I cleaned the bottom out the other day because I had some broccoli and it was smelling a little, little rank in there. But let's see if it can get this stuff off. That was a little bit more difficult uh, to get off when I was just wiping it down with some sponge and soap. Pretend it's your mother-in-law. <laughs> I'm gonna rip this head off. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna fill it up with water. Put that head back on. I don't know how the hair goes back, but. If you look at it underneath it, see, let's pull it off. See, like the hair comes off. It's just got a little thing where it sets on the blue part. Okay. All right, we'll try it out. I bet you do two minutes. Two minutes? Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Got a little bit of water down here. It's okay because we're just gonna wipe it up anyways. There's definitely some condensation up there from the steam. Let's see how easy it is to wipe off. All right, this is no cleaner, no soap. And check that out. It just wipes, that's the outside of it, but it just wipes right off. And I've wiped it down with the spick and span over here the other day, and it did not come off. But you steam it up, just some water and paper towel, and it's coming off. No damage was done to the mother-in-law here, but yeah. All right, what's the next okay. item? Oh, this, this one? one here? All right. This is a what? What's on there? Down here? Yeah. What? What is a this? fork. Okay. And knives and spoons. This is a drawer organizer. Ah. And it's supposed to save you a bunch of space in your drawer in case you either have a thin drawer or you have a larger drawer. Okay, so you're gonna oh, you put the fix it? in there. Right, instead of having that big... You wanna fix it? So let's go inside and let's go try it. All right. So this is how most people's drawers are. We don't have a ton of cutlery because there's only a few of us in the house. Here's the baby stuff over here. We're gonna see if we can get this into here and then save all this other space over here for you know papers and documents and even sauces and all the stuff that we really don't need anyways in the drawer. But if we could save some space, or if you think you can use some space, this might help. So we'll do the spoons, put that on one side over there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the larger spoons and just kind of sit them next to it, since there aren't a ton of compartments in here. We'll take the smaller forks. I don't know if these are dinner forks, salad forks, whatever. I don't know the proper terms for them. Ton of butter knives. And now I'm kind of stuck with the serving stuff. Um, no, that doesn't work. I, yeah, I don't have a ton of cutlery, but I can tell you right now, this is a fail. This ain't going to work for me. What is that? What is it? What's on there? What does it look like? It's like... Screwdrivers? Screwdrivers? No, those are toothbrushes. Oh, it's a toothbrush. You don't clean your 
teeth with screwdrivers, do you? These are toothbrushes. Auto sanitization, health and safer. So this hangs up to four toothbrushes and it's got the blue UV light toothpaste on the one side so you can actually just stick your toothbrush under there and toothpaste comes out automatically. Instead of you having to like squeeze it, like do the whole roll up on your toothpaste when it's getting low. Right. <laughs> and this also sanitizes all your toothbrushes. So that's pretty cool. Well, let's go inside. Let's try it out. Micro USB. I thought this was a switch. It's just a button on the side right there. And I guess you keep it on at all times. How did, does the UV light, hold on, is it missing one? Or is this just the light right here? This is the back so you can stick it to the wall. I'm kind of debating whether I actually stick it to the wall or not. Let me just bring it in there. Okay. Put that on there, all right. We got that. And you're supposed to put it in here. Where's the light? I mean, there's a light here. Where's the UV light? Do I hold it? I don't see any UV light. It's just some BS light. Let me turn the lights off in here. Yeah, just some BS light. If the Pro Health, I don't think the Pro Health is going to work because of the kind of cap it is. But I have this little travel one that I use. I'm going to put that in there. You just press it in there. Oh, there you go. You just press it in there. Okay. Take our toothbrush. And does it do anything? It looks like it actually sucks some of the air out. So let's keep going. Maybe just need a little bit more. Come on. Come on. Yeah. That's not working. You can see that it extracted some toothpaste into there. It just wasn't coming out this little rubber nipple right there. What is that? What is that? That is a mini sealing machine. It's the seal of the, the bags. It's the seal plastic oh, yeah. bags. We've had one of these before. You kind of pinch it. It seals your potato chip bag. It seals your vegetables that maybe you don't use all of. Wait, hold on. Is this rechargeable? Because it's on, I think. Oh, it's rechargeable? Oh, even oh, okay. better. Did it come with a charger? Oh, it fell on the floor right there. This is the sealer. I don't know if you can see that right there. And then if you twist it the other way, it's got a little pin to open it. So let's just seal it right now. You're gonna hold it, pinch it, and you're just gonna slowly glide it across. And that bag is sealed. Thank you, Enzo. Let's try the pin to see if that's what opens it. Yeah, exactly. It does a straight line so that way you get yourself like a nicer clean cut from it. And then I'm just going to seal it up once again to put it back in the freezer because he wants pizzas, not chicken nuggets right now. This is the old one we actually sat in the drawer. It didn't work for the longest time. Time to go in the trash. Okay, what is it? That is an electric wine opener. Uh, wait, we don't even have a bottle of wine. I guess we gotta go buy a bottle of wine for this video wine. now. <laughs> kind of lightweight, I mean, but as long as it works, it looks good. I don't know if it's a twist cap one. I don't see a corkscrew in How there. Oh wait, there, to... there must be. There's gotta be a corkscrew in there. Um, looks like double A, four double A batteries. All right, we need to get four double A batteries and some wine. All right, let's All right. go do that right now. Let's try it out. Okay, before I get to the wine-like product, not wine, wine-like product, you, know, you can't demonetize me, that's wine-like product. Yeah, so when you detach this, as you can see, it's like slit down the middle, so it spreads open. There you go, and you put it over the top that way, and it's just a manual bottle opener, and then you have the electric wine opener. You press this button here, and it does all the twirly twirl. Press the top button and it goes the opposite direction. Whoa, whoa! All right, I need a second hand for this one. All right, it kind of just stops. Now let's hit the other button to get it out of it. Oh no, it's just coming out. Okay, let's do it again. 
Kind of goes in there. Not kind of, it does. And then what do you do? Okay. We're pulling it out, but it's still kind of manual that way. It doesn't automatically pull it out for you. So it doesn't really save you much time or energy. I'd say this is a dud. What's next, What's Enzo? What's next, Enzo? Oh. What is it? These are poppins, Daddy. Oh, they're poppins? Oh, well, we had the wine. And now we got to get some beer. So this is a beer opener. So this is opener. a beer opener now. Okay. So those bottle caps with the oh, beer. Yeah. You just kind of or... pop it on there, ah. pop off your beer top. Ah. Then you're good to go. Does it even work for like certain sodas that you have to like pop off the top? Something yeah, like that. Mexican like, Cokes? Oh, yes. All right, right, will do. What we have here is absolutely not beer, just so I don't get in trouble for it. I mean, it's just because it's not beer. That's why I'm saying that. And I'm going to try my best to open it the first try because I don't feel like wasting stuff. And if you look here with this mechanism, when you press in, what it's going to do, it's going to... Lock, click, lock, and then pull down. So let's try our best on the first try because I, again, don't feel like wasting anything. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Okay, how do I get it out of there? Oh, it's, it's magnetic, there we go. And the second one for Tina. I mean, I heard it. Absolutely heard it. But oh, it was just sitting on there. But yeah, easy enough. What is it? Oh, mommy got that for okay. daddy. Hey, what is it? It is a magnet for the dishwasher. Tina got this for me because I don't empty the dishwasher. And I always make the excuse that I don't know if it's ever clean or not. Because sometimes they look like they're clean or not. You put this on the dishwasher <laughs> as a magnet and it's clean, dirty. Cause, yeah, because sometimes they're rinsed, so I guess they may look clean. No excuses. <laughs> See, they're dirty or clean. And if it says clean and there's dishes in there, put them away. I, I really don't even know what that is. It's been a while. I don't even oh. remember what we bought. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. It's for the okay. sink in the bathroom. So in case you want to rinse your mouth after brushing your teeth or, or whatever. Oh, it's so that the water doesn't go all over like the counters. Yeah, you can actually turn it up and then turn it back down when you're just washing your hands and then back up when you want to rinse your mouth out. Let's oh, see if okay. it works on our older, cheaper sink in our bathroom. All right, let's unscrew this. Let's see if we can get this on there. Okay, let's make sure that water ain't gonna shoot around all over the place. Kinda. It doesn't really, whoa. Okay, that shot pretty far. It doesn't go all the way up and it kind of leaks. Leaks all out the bottom. Is it the bottom or is it coming out the sides? Or is it both? I went through all the extra pieces that we had. It's already got the seal inside it. So, I'm gonna have to give this one a failing grade. Because even if it did work, how is anybody drinking if it can't go all the way up? Last yeah, thing, Enzo. Yeah, one more thing in there. Yes. What is that? That looks like clips for bags, bag wow. clips. So I guess it's this makes it easier to clip than the big the big clips. What happens is, is you take a piece of bread out, you take an English muffin out, you take whatever out. Oh, it's that clip. Never put okay. that, like, whatever that is, that back little, on the bag. That what I plastic roll that comes with it. Yeah. As a man, I do the twist and fold because I always oh, I lose the little thing on the side. 
You have these around, these are big enough where you can actually just twist, you pinch, put it on the bag, don't lose it, Okay. and then it stays fresh. Let's see if it works on one of the bags inside. Let's try it out. What are these on, Daddy? The English muffin. We're gonna check it out in just a moment, buddy. Look, I twist it, and if you want, pinch it, and then put it on there. Can you do that? Cinch that on easily. Yep, right there. Look at that, Enzo. It's gonna stay fresh. Easy, one-handed. What is that? That's the bag clipper. So this is our first Timu order, and I say it's just more cheap Chinese crap. It's basically Wish, it just comes in faster. Faster shipping. Yeah, and better advertising. So, you know, a couple of things you might like on there, some of them you don't, but it's cheap. So if it doesn't work, I guess you didn't waste a lot of money. It may even be Wish, just rebrand it. Who, I, I who know. knows, <laughs> Chinese stuff, they're all knocking each other off over there, right? There's no laws over there, there's no rules for anything. And if you wanna see more of us, hit the subscribe button and hit that like button to help us out. All right, guys, thanks, I'll see you next time. See you next time.